Let me show you exactly how to edit a video here on your iPad using iMovie. And you could also get iMovie for your iPhone as well. I do have a different video about that as well as Mac computers. And I have a complete training on that as well once you learn how to use it on the iPad. So the very first step is launching the App Store and searching for iMovie just to make sure we have the latest version of it here installed on our iPad. I already have the latest version installed, but if you don't, make sure you press the download or the install button here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And this is going to be the homepage of iMovie. Right on top, your existing projects will show up on top. So you shouldn't have anything here. It should just be a blank section. And right here, where it says start a new project, you have three different options. So for step two, we have to decide which of these we want to choose. So Movie Magic is basically creating a slideshow from scratch. So you could choose this if that's what you want to do. Storyboard is using predefined templates. So there's a bunch of different templates for different scenarios. But in this video, I'm going to show you editing from scratch. So choose this last option over here. Next, we need to actually import some media. So the videos, for example, that you took with your iPad, you could bring those into the project. I have this connected to my iCloud account. So these are actually things I took with my iPhone, it just syncs up here. I made an album for it. So you could go ahead and import projects, basically video, photos, and things like that into your project. Again, these are from my iPhone that I sync up with iCloud here to my iPad. So for importing, you could basically select multiple clips here and press the check mark next to them, or press play to get a quick preview of what it looks like. So if you press the check mark, it's going to add it to your project as soon as we create a movie down here. So I could select multiple different clips here, press the check mark. These need to be downloaded from iCloud, but I don't have to press this option right now. It will just do it when I press import. So I'm going to select five different clips here and then we can move the order around, but it is going to import them in this order that you're going to select them. So. Now, with all of them selected, I'm going to press create a movie and it's going to download some from iCloud if it's not in the iPad already. And if I now go through, I'm going to see all the different clips that I brought in in the order that I selected them. So for this step now, let me just show you exactly what you're looking at here. If you press the question mark here, it is going to show you exactly what is going on in the different sections. So right here is your preview window. So you can see your final edited video. That is going to be very handy. So we need to look at this here to see how our video is coming together. And down here is what's called the timeline. So all your editing is taking place down here. And I'll show you exactly how to start editing in the next section. And you have some settings available here. We'll go through some project settings as we go through this video. And at any point, if you decide to add more videos, photos, and music, you press this plus sign and it's going to give you access to your files again. So again, if I had photos or videos, which I do on this iPad, I will bring them from here. So I'm going to press X right now. Now let's start with some basic editing. The first thing we need to do is get the order of clips exactly the way we want. So to do that, you can click on one of these and it will change it to this shape and bring it back. So this will just simply change the order of the clips. So let's say I want the steering wheel here from the submarine to be the very first one. I'll drag it and put it in the beginning of my project. So now to basically get a preview of my project, I just slide over, press play right here, and it's gonna play things in the order I have them. Okay, so changing the order of the clips is the first thing you wanna do. Make sure they're in the right order, telling your story the way you want. Then the next step in editing is trimming your clips. So if I select the clip, now the whole layout's going to change. And let me go ahead and hide these here. So a couple of different ways we could edit a clip here. The first is when does this clip start and when does it end? So these yellow bars, that's what they tell you. And you could grab it. And this is basically taking out the beginning of it. So it starts a bit later. And this is going to take the ending and make sure it ends a little bit sooner. Okay, so this is basically the whole length of the clip. So it's not going to let me extend past that, but I could make it shorter, right? So this is a basic editing when you edit the beginning and end of a clip. The second option is sometimes you want to just take out something in the middle of a clip. Like a lot of times if you're talking, for example, and you make a mistake. So to do that is if you select the clip, you get some new options on the very bottom, right? So the option here, actions, if I click this one, 
it's going to let me do what's called a split. That's what I want. I want to make it split. So it takes a clip and makes two clips out of it. And what I could do now is I could just trim this portion, right, where I made a mistake. Or another option I have is I could just make another split, right? So I could come over here, select, make another split, and then choose this portion that I made a mistake. Let's say I was talking here, and I could press the garbage can right here, delete, and it will take out something from the middle of the clip. So beginning, end, and middle is what you would want to trim out in most cases with your clips. And also when you do this, you could put something in the middle of these two clips, right? So I could drag this one in the middle of these clips. Or another option is I could just import a brand new clip that I didn't have before. So I could press this option right here and go to my albums. And here's a clip I didn't bring in. So I could select it here and then go ahead and download it and then add it, press plus, And it's gonna add it to that little gap here. That's gonna be a new clip between the two different clips I had before. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up here. Now you do have these options over here that I don't recommend you use. I rather just record a video clip or a photo clip or voiceover, but anytime you can give it access here to your camera, for example, and record a new clip this way as well. You see video and photo could be recorded this way. My camera is facing down right now, but that is an option that's available here. This one is for voiceover. Anytime you make a mistake, there's an undo option right over here. So you could press undo and it will undo the last act that you just did. Now, let me click on this clip too. There's other options available to you as well with each clip. So you can, for example, detach an audio from a clip. So sometimes you don't want this, right? This is just noise from my phone here that I don't need. So I could delete just the audio. This way, it will just be completely silent when this clip is playing and maybe I could add music a little bit later. Sometimes when working with audio, you wanna actually change the volume of that too. So maybe you don't wanna detach and delete. You could just bring it all the way down here so you could add music, for example, or you could record voiceover to talk over this section of the video. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is transitions between two clips. So you see these little icons, basically what's happening between one clip and another. Sometimes they look like this. You see how that was a very subtle dissolve, right? And this one, that's just a straight line. This is going to be a cut, right? So there's no transition there, but there is one here. So you can change these transitions if you select them. There's multiple options. I, or this line here that looks like an I, that's when there's no transition. This is just a straight cut, but you could do a dissolve. This is what a dissolve would look like. Basic transition there. You could also, let me select that again, you could do a slide. So let me press play, that's a slide. And you have multiple other options available as well, like a wipe and a fade. This theme option too, you have things from the theme of this project, which I'll show you in a second. Then if you select a clip here, you also have filters available to you. So with filters, you can basically give a different look to a clip. This is a little bit of color correcting here or a different look to it. So this is a, vintage submarine maybe the silent era filter would be interesting to use for that you also have these things called themes so let me press the settings gear here and the theme changes the entire look and feel of the video so if i want to choose the travel theme let me just show you what ends up happening i'm going to go ahead and click away here now if i select one of these transitions with the travel theme and choose the theme option look at what happens here now if i press play a whole different type of transition, right? That comes from this theme setting. So you could choose different themes here if you want to play around with that. These are pretty interesting for these transitions between them. You could also turn on a theme soundtrack. You see how I just added this music here? That's what that is going to let you do. You could fade in from black. That's what happens in the beginning and fade out. That's what happens at the end. So these are useful if you're gonna try these different themes here. You could also add text. So text right here, if you select a clip, you could press this T option and it's gonna let you choose from all these different options. So if you choose standard text, for example, this is gonna add it right here. So let me show you what that looks like. So it's gonna fade in and it's gonna fade out. Okay, so you could select the text here and then you could press edit and type in your own text. And if you decide you don't need a text, just delete it. Okay, so then it's going to delete the text there as well. And finally, let's add music. Typically, a lot of times you wanna add background music or music that just makes this 
presentable by itself. You press the plus sign here, and there's an audio tab. Media was from this tab, but audio is soundtracks and music tracks and sound effects. So this does have some library of sounds you could choose from. So you just select one of them here. It's going to download it and then select it to press the plus sign and it's gonna add it again on the bottom here. You can select this by the way, and you can change the volume. So if you want it to be dominant, leave it at 100%. If you want it to be background, go ahead and reduce the volume to somewhere in the 20% range. Press play, I have mine on mute right now, but listen to it if you're talking, for example, to make sure it's mixing well with your dialogue here. You could always press this option here to kind of make this smaller once you make that change so it's not in the way. But I definitely recommend adding audio as the very last thing you do and fade it out right here like this. Okay, so you added a little fade at the end and I'm all set. Now I'm gonna press X here. And the last thing we typically wanna do when we're done with a project is we need to save this project so we could share it with someone else. So I'm gonna go here and press done. It's gonna bring my project over here to this menu. I could go ahead and name my project something else, right? So sub, I'm gonna press done. And now I could go ahead and share this project with these options or choose to delete or go back to edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this option right here. This is gonna let me preview the whole edit that I have, right? I could go through the whole project. This is about 30 seconds. And then if I decide it's all good, I could go ahead and press the share option right over here in the middle. I could save it as a video. This will save it to my photos library and sync up to my phone if I had iCloud enabled. Or I could go ahead and airdrop it, send it as a message here or send it as an email here. If I choose email, for example, it's gonna export the movie. It's gonna put it inside of an email. And typically, if it's not too large, you could use email to send it to someone else. And this one's about three megabytes, so it's perfect. I could send it to someone else from here. Now, if you want to completely master iMovie, I do have a full training on it that is for the Mac computer. The iPad and iPhone are a bit limited, but the Mac gives you a whole bunch more options if you want to really learn editing. I'll link that below. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you on the next video.